Drop the phone down there. <laughs> you can actually hold the phone for the sun and you can see your water. Oh, light. yeah? So I'm pretty I sure it's... how it works behind it. Yeah. I had a mirror that does it too. Sweet. Yeah, I guess I could bring my light and just shoot it and just see what it, you know. I'm sure you'd see some reflection. Yeah. I think the, the water is probably closer to like 100 foot depth. Oh, okay. Static. Well, that's where he was getting the big water, so maybe static's a little higher, but... So, just assembling the pump and the motor. And that's going to get threaded into the drop pipe. And then, we're going to drop it 20 feet at a time. So, check out the rig. That runs the hydraulics to lift the pipe. So, this thing's pretty tall, close to 30 feet up there. And then what was cool, they busted their uh, jack out, you know, it's like a hydraulic jack to uh, stabilize it. It's a pretty specific setup, then the drop pipe's loaded up on the rack. It's got like a little tray. So today's going to be the day. I should be pumping water today. It's be sweet. And these guys have been good to me, I won't even lie. on this boulder get a cool view. Here we go. Ugh. Not pretty high. So I'll get this part then I want to jump down and help wherever I can. So I'm gonna thread the drop pipe into the pump. Then they're going to do 200 feet, so 10 sticks, and then there will be a check valve, and then there will be two sticks, and then it will be coming through the well seal that's not in quite yet. So that's going to be sweet. Okay. I think I just got that pipe, and there's a little bit of grease on it. Being that, this is going to be uh, drinking water. I'm going to go grab some simple green and towels and get it all, get it cleaned up real good. I just want to check static water level. Sixty-three feet. It's pretty shallow, I think, compared yeah, to. This thing was a cranker, man. There's water everywhere. Yeah. Oh no, I'm super pumped. I just was like, oh, I gotta get a big pump and a five horse, which is fine. Just spend the money now. Sweet. So pump, bolted to the motor, and then those leads will get run up, taped, and then attached. So we're going right inside. Right there, bingo. Yeah, when they hit so much water, they had to put the full liner in it, which was fine. Just more money. Yeah, yeah, nothing's gonna cave in and get locked in or anything. And I thought about putting a stainless cable on that, but yeah, I was like, eh, nobody really does that. So I went with it. Yeah, What's the chance of it really breaking off in a, it in a liner? It's like the well comes out of water, it's usually gonna have an issue. Yeah, because it, it gets hot. hot and then the threads get soft. On it. Yeah, 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 I get you. But the, and all these threads are strong enough to pull it out. Oh, sweet. I the, them out. Yeah, right from the wire. As long as there's not 300 feet of pipe hanging on it. Yeah, it'll only be 240. If it's motor, it'll pretty much hold. Yeah, sweet. How deep did they drill to? 400. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just based on the survey I had, the underground survey. They're like, your target's 375, so drill to four. So I said, cool, let's just do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just what you're doing is extremely familiar to me. <laughs> Crimp them and then heat shrink. It's just the heat shrink looks a little different than what I'm yeah, used it's to. It's yeah, it's almost like the 3M uh, Scotch Lock connectors yeah, like, though heat like shrinks. Scotch. Sometimes if they're doing big wire, small wire. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get this to shrink down. The yeah, I see. Now put that shit on and tape it. And what are you gonna just uh, torch it like a little burns yeah, or something? I'll torch it and then I'll tape it after that. Yeah, sweet. Super 33. Yeah. Sweet. some info on there huh yeah, just in case i forget okay there. sweet i saw it came with a little sticker to put on the controller yeah, or somewhere do a pump sheet I shops, so just make one up. yeah I it's all good i got the sticker um right up there it's stuff i could do later if it's just writing down numbers i, I can write down numbers the more i know about it kind of the better for myself you know what i mean oh yeah especially when we come out and ask me you know what's in the hole <laughs> I'm gonna know it's unless I get dementia, forget everything. But let me be yeah. Sleepy Joe style. Yeah. I'll shower wrong, hit my head on this goddamn thing. Like Alright, so as it's going down, doing the wipe, brought the alcohol. So this will be the I'll first the 20. Yeah. Here's how we'll do the, uh, see how they do the connection. See that grease right there. Pull the cap. Everybody seems to like that blue stuff. Yeah. The blue, like even the blue tape. Water and gas. Oh, I, I see. That makes sense. Even the blue tape too. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Uh, let me get that loose. Let me get that cleaned up. So this thing holds it, it sits on the plate, pipe don't get, tighten it up. You guys probably don't do a whole lot of like loose wire, right? Do it jacketed. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's Old gonna definitely back, hold like, when I first started 20 years ago, 15 years ago. I've seen some, you know, I watched you a lot of videos. Them, just, like, twist them all together. And just, like, nah, them. yeah, janky's right. You always want to have protection wherever you can get it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, it, I didn't see too much grease on there. This no, one, this one is clean. Be on this other wire. Like okay, sweet. Stick. I the wrong wire. Sweet, sweet. Now it's all good. We'll roll it. All right. There's the check valve going right about in the middle. Okay, so that just replaces a coupling. That makes sense. Sweet. 
Sweet. So it goes down in there. That's the next one. There will be 140 feet above that check valve. And 100 below it. All right, there's our check valve. Coming up through the well seal. Sweet. Alright, so this PVC goes to a coupling. The coupling goes to a short nipple. Um, and then this edge is going to sit right on the seal. That'll hold the weight of the whole assembly. So be sweet. All right, so just do a little loop of the wire. Leave a little extra. And it's going to come up and through. All right, so what I'm doing right here, this is the big pressure tank. I just threw it in this uh, machine, bring it up to my main shop where I got the air compressor over there. The thing is, I'm going to try to run this system uh, 40 PSI cut in, uh, or 60 PSI cut in, 80 PSI cut out. So, because the peak efficiency for the curve was 78 PSI. So this came with about 42. It's dropped down. Eh, it's, it's about 43 right now, so it came with about 44. So the thing is, um, I read the manual, and this should be 2 PSI below the cut in pressure which I'm gonna have is 60. So I should put this at 58. Now I could do it down there where it was at, but that was gonna be tough. And this thing is fast. This, this thing's a beast with that big compressor over there. So I'm gonna do it right here before I hook up the plumbing. So that's what I'm doing, getting it up to 58. I gotta get it a little tighter on there. All right, she's all loaded up. And I'm back there. So now we're ready to pipe it all in. A 58 PSI in it. Get it plumbed up and then... Grab the manuals here for the uh, controller. And it'll be sweet pretty soon. Fashion way. Yeah. And that's the first official. Do we cut a ribbon or do we... <laughs> no. Is there a, sound, a gong? A drum, a beeper. Hopefully there's some water. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. It's the first time I've heard it do that noise. Sweet, man. It's opening up that hose. Oh, yeah. But I saw a little pu a little pulse go through. That's water just got to shut off. Okay. So okay. FO2. No water loss. You know that code already, huh? It's, on, it's, it's right here on your... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. right. There you go. So these are going to be all your fault codes. FO2. Gotcha. So, if so it might need, like, manual startup a few times because it's not primed. Yeah, Might be a little or funny. the rotation's bad. Sweet. It's all good. You want me to do the disconnect? Uh, you, whatever you want to do, man, let me let me not yeah, distract you. See, at first I wasn't going to do the disconnect down here, and then Kale's like, yeah, man, just do the disconnect, because for somebody working on it, it really needs to be close by. See, so I'm like, cool. So turn it off now. And the thing with now. these, uh, yeah. they, the faults, they'll fault, and it has an inbuilt, uh, its own start, restart delay, so it was just I see. getting ready to restart. Protect itself. Oh, it was going to start back it up. Was, it just right as I turned it off, it was going to start back up right then. Yeah. Um, I believe if it does it more than three times, it'll stop. then it'll fall, and we have to come out, and we have to manually reset it. Yeah, I which, see. Which uh, I don't have my work truck in the manual to say. Exactly. Oh, I got the manual. I just, I, for, I grabbed the pump and motor. Yeah. Okay, here's the next one. It's the next startup. Switch to phase. So it's starting to show a little pressure. 
Not much yeah, yet. A yeah, we might have to do it a few so times. Gonna... Yep. Yep. Oh, that's right. Wait a <laughs> it says it's running right now. Sounds like it. Actually, I think it is. I gotta go down. No, it's, it's just not the fan. Yeah, no, it's it's still running. Like I gotta go down and look at it and then we'll decide about how much water's coming out. You want me to run down there and hold it up in the air? Or just if you tell me if it's Heck yeah. Wild, yeah, fine. yeah, I'll run. My job is to go down the end of this hose and I'm going to shoot it up in the air. Because if the two phases, you know, there's three phases and if one's backwards, you uh, just, just flip two wires. And so if it's not moving enough water, then they'll flip them. And if it moves more, then we know it's correct. So it's sweet. Here we go. Okay, it looks like I didn't have my nozzle open all the way anyway. All right, I'm not gonna, yeah, yeah, I am. Let me try to hold this with my arm. Come on, baby. Oh, don't loosen that up. This could be a mess for the hose. All right. So, a little bit coming out. Let me do my thing with these guys. All right, so we're gonna flip the wires. And this is the first startup, so it's given like a loss of prime code. So being that the whole pipe and everything is all dry, it might just take a couple startups on the first one to do the reset. Then once it's all primed up, it should be good. So we're just troubleshooting. He's shutting the switch off. He's gonna switch the two wires, switch it back on. We'll see what we get. But yeah, so far, we're rolling. It's not even 11 o'clock. These guys were here sometime just before 8. So we're slamming. I was just thinking, too, because I have this set up, set up to city water, I could always open up the city water valve and kind of backfeed all that pipe. And that might help it prime. Let me yell to them. Okay, here's the startup. I'm going to have my hose on it. If I put my phone down real quick, it's because we got the juice. Pretty good strong, one strong arm on it. Yeah, I feel it's just starting to make its way through. And we're getting 20 feet in the air. Oh yeah, it likes it. It's stiffing right up. Let's wash some stuff off. That's a juicer there, boy. I'll tell you what. Oh man, the pressure, pressure's building up now. I'm shooting 40 feet, 50 feet probably. That's sweet. Oh yeah. Now if I lock it down in here, snug it up, put my phone away, start filling the pond up. Alright, so the first bunch of water was kind of dirty looking and it tripped the pump a couple times for a low water or under pressure. And uh, I left the gate valve halfway, and now this baby's cranking. So I'm pretty sure what happened was uh, it sucked up some of the pumping mud from the well drilling, and it clogged up the little screens on the liner. And now that it's been running for a while, I think those screens are cleaning up. This sucker's blasting. So it's pretty sweet. I've been ready filling the pond for maybe a half hour. I'm gonna keep it uh, going and I'm gonna slowly open the gate valve. The gate valve's only half open right now. And this thing is a lot of water, man. This, and it's cold too, so it's sweet. So I'm gonna keep doing this, rinsing some stuff, and then I'm gonna um, leave it wide open underwater, like this, and just churn it up and I'll, I'm gonna leave it on for however long it takes. And that'll give me a good chance to really test this well out. So this is going to be about 150,000 gallons. If it can fill this non-stop without running the well dry. And when it does run the well low, as I figured out, it sets a code. So I'm going to know what I got. I may do uh, one more check-in in a bit. But for now, I'll put my phone away before I get it all wet and ruined. But it's going sweet. This is at 80 PSI right here, the blaster.